Right, so this is a drone motor. You can get about four of these for a fiver if you buy one of those little toy drones, and they're quite awesome things. Or you can buy them and you buy by themselves if you like. But anyway, that's a drone motor. Now we can turn that into a speaker using this stuff, which is cellophane. It's the stuff that you wrap flowers in. It's got to be cellophane. Okay, let's make a speaker. If you're a follower of the channel, you'll know I love this stuff. I call it Builder's Board. It's actually UPVC. So it's a UPVC outer coating and then it's got a foam core on the inside. And they sell it here for face here and soffits and roof line. And there's just a ton of stores that sell this stuff called building plastic. And they're very local. If you're looking for them, just put in UPVC face here. Uh, and your address or your area and you'll find about three or four of them just pop up. You buy it in um, three to five meter lengths, it comes from 100 mil to about 300 mil. You can get it with an angle on it which is the face here or this flat board which is the soffit and I use it a lot. Now in the US it's called Sintra board, S-I-N-T-R-A. I hear that it's quite expensive in the US. Here this is astonishingly cheap and so I use it a lot for model making because it, it cuts easily with hand tools. I mean you can cut it out with a box knife if you want, although I tend to use a circular saw just to get neat uh, straight lines, but a box knife will do it, a saw will do it. It's beautiful to cut. You glue it with crazy glue, super glue, and the glue bond is actually stronger than the material. So if you try to break that bond off, you actually break the material and not the bond. So it glues beautifully, and of course it's UPVC, so it lasts in the sun, and it, it's just a wonderful material that here in the UK we happen to have access to. The main supplier is Eurocell. Anyway, I wanted to give all that information out because I've been asked a number of times about it and that's the stuff I use. Now to make this, we're going to use a section of it. So I need to cut out a 15 by 15 square. Let's do that. So there's my support all cut out, now I need to cover this side with a bit of double sided tape. When I've done that, I've gone around a little bit of my cellophane, stick it down, and cut round it. Done that, we get this, which is a bit of cellophane stretched over a hole. Now it's a bit saggy, but the great thing about cellophane is on the application of heat, it stretches tight like a drum. You can use a hairdryer. Or in my case, we're going to use a hot gun. You just point the hot gun at it, you'll see it wrinkle up a little bit, and you'll see it pull tight. It's actually quite awesome. Having done that, we've got our bit of cellophane stretched across our hole, and it's like a drum. Okay, we're going to glue it on an upright. It's a bit here, just for prettiness. But what we need to do now is take a little strip of this stuff, which is double-sided tape. I'm actually using double-sided foam, but double-sided tape is just fine. Put it in the middle of your cellophane. Okay, so I've got it hooked up to the computer and we're going to play that song that everybody loves to hate, Buddy by Ben Sound. reason I use it, it's royalty free, but it is splitting people into two camps for those that love it and those that hate it. I love it because it doesn't cost me anything. Anyway, have a listen to this. Isn't that crazy? You can turn a drone motor into a speaker with the aid of a little bit of cellophane. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.